kuja katikati. I did. Ndio kuja katikati. Bosi akando. Nani? Old time. Ni sawa. I did file an amendment. I did file an amendment to this housing levy bill that the speaker has since denied its admissibility and that is one, the, one of the reasons why we decided to walk out. Number two, as we say, housing is not an issue of concern to Kenyans. Kenyans have serious things ranging from unemployment, high cost of living, to high cost of education that should be discussed on the floor of the parliament. Housing is a private good that should be left to Kenyans to decide on their own by providing jobs and letting them build their own houses. The government's role is to create an enabling environment so that Kenyans can build houses for themselves. The, work, the sole responsibility of the government is to work on the public goods, not private goods. Public goods like roads and merit goods like education and also facilitating the consumption of health and education. Otherwise, we are not in support of this because this bill is meant to defraud, to pilfer, to, mis uh, to steal money from Kenyans. Thank you. Tukiwa tumetoka kwenye bunge, na kama wabunge wazimio, tumekubaliana kwa kauli moja, kwamba hatuwezi kuhusika kwa mswada ambao ni ya yake ni kwa wadanganya wa Kenya, kwamba tumepitisha mswada kwa nje inayostahili. Jambo muhimu hapa ni kwamba marekebisho tuliyotaka katika mswada huo yamekataliwa na wale wenzetu wa Kenya kwanza wamepewa ilani kwamba wakiwa kwenye bunge wasikubali lolote marekebisho yoyote na tumeona kwamba mswada huu una shida nyingi mswada wenyewe jinsi ulivyomilikiwa una e, e, umilikiwa bila kuzingatia e, kanuni za sheria za nchi hii e, tukijua kwamba mambo ya ujenzi wa nyumba ni kazi ya serikali za kaunti lakini hata kwenye mswada imeandikishwa kwamba haihusishi kaunti sasa tukajiuliza ikiwa tunakeuka katiba sisi wenyewe na sisi tumekula kiapo hapa kwenye bunge kwamba tutailinda na kuzingira katiba tunaelekea wapi ndiposa tukaamua kwa kauli moja tujiondoe kwenye mazungumzo yanayoendelea tujiondoe kwenye debate inayoendelea ili wale wa jamaa wenyewe wajiongeleshe na wa Kenya wajue kwamba sisi kama wanaazimio tumekataa katakata mambo na mswada huu let me just put it this way, that what Kenyans are witnessing and staring at is... Sorry. Uh, what Kenyans are witnessing and staring at is dictatorship by William Ruto. I've said this before and I want to repeat it. This is the real Ruto. The Ruto we have seen for the past 12 or four so months is a fake one. This is the Ruto, a dictator, one who does not care so long as his interest is served. This housing levy is serving no one, no other person's interest but Ruto's interest. It, he is determined to push it, whether Kenyans like it or not, whether you are crying, he does not care. This bill is not good for Kenyans and they know it. It's not that the executive does not know, but they still insist in pushing it, whether we, we make noise or not. Now, my final comment would be I want to thank the leadership of Azimio. There was no reason why we should participate at all in the committee of the whole house because it, this is already determined. So we, walking out is the right thing to do. Let us meet elsewhere. First, maybe court. Two, I think Kenyans may go back to where we came from. Because if we have to be pushed this way, Tomorrow you don't know what will happen. Let me just mention something that is very interesting, and Honorable Chenda Molo mentioned it. That now any Kenyan, whether you are a farmer, or you sell clothes, mutumba, or whatever you do, the government has the right to calculate 1.5% of your gross earnings, not net. Gross earnings and deduct that as housing levy. 
what we are doing is simply setting Kenyans against the KRA. They will come to your doorsteps and start demanding for housing levy from you for I don't know what source of income. Thank you.